guys, here's the thing. I'm hiding from Losha. They found out that I've been calling my city a modular city build and that it's not up to date to their standards. Their requirements require a lot of things I do not have. So they are sending an inspector over here, hard hat handy, and he is going to try to figure out what I've done wrong. Let's hide the city from them. Hi, I'm Hot Hat Handy, and I am the lead inspector for Losha. For those that aren't in the know, Losha is Lego City OSHA. As chief inspector of Losha, it is my job to make sure when buildings are going up, they're going up to my code. Specifically with Lego modulars, there are set guidelines we need to follow. Sidewalks need to be seven studs in length. There must be proper drainage bricks. There must be a curb of different color to identify sidewalk from curb. Different things like that. If it's not damn the permits, it's not going up. What is going on guys? Richard here from Bearded Bricks to do a little funny video. Now that we've got that out of the way, we're gonna keep showing you what's going on with the city. We're gonna show you how we're breaking the rules. We're gonna show you how these are not really modular. How they're not accessible on every floor. But, 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 they are enclosed and we do include storm drains. It's proper drainage! You're doing something right for one! Now, some of you know that have watched this video know that there are certain requirements that LEGO requires you to do in your buildings to make them a city modular set to go with the other modulars and everything else. Which, newsflash, none of my buildings are. But, we're not going to let Andy know that. We're going to try to keep everything from handy. We're not going to let them know about the fact that my buildings do not have any Technic bricks on the side. That they're not exactly six places back. They're actually nine. And then including ten with the little drainage. Now we do have drains. We don't have white lampposts. Mine are black. We do have street signs. And there are some other things. But let's see what all in my city has done wrong. I have them clumped in two different sections. The looks department and the things that are a little bit more important that you couldn't really get away in calling a building a modular if it didn't have these. The looks are a little bit shaky, but these are definitely 100% needed. The looks also help though. They always help. The looks department is also pretty quite straightforward. Like, white lamp post, storm drain, that's draining sidewalk while the other clump is some stuff you just can't get around like the two technic bricks rule you have to have two technic bricks that are side by side to each other with enough space in between from each other and space from the outside of it so they all line up with other modular buildings or the 32 by 32 base plate there has to be at least adding up to 32 by 32 studs in diameter for a base plate a set also has to be enclosed if you can see from the back like a dollhouse style then it's not modular I know some of you guys are asking, Richard, what are you going to do with the city? It is not built up to requirements. Are you going to take the fines? Are you going to rebuild the city? Should I get rid of these 48 by 48 base plates and buy 15 32 by 32s? Do I need to make the sidewalk smaller? Do I need to, more importantly, add the Technic pin bricks? I mean, look at this. Look at this nonsense. How am I going to connect this to another building when you have stuff like this? that's just built into greatness with Technic pins that slide right into the next building beside it. What am I gonna do? It's not, the two Technic brick rule is key. It's like the keystone of the entire building's foundation. If it's not there, then it doesn't really count. Is this finally gonna give me the chance to just start all over on the city, rebuild all the buildings smaller, make them, it'll increase the height of them. We'll be able to do this and make it look a lot nicer with a lot, lot more buildings. No, Richard is not going to do any of that. Richard is going to leave all these buildings alone. We are going to finish the city out. We're going to keep building it. We're going to keep making it just look magnificent like it is. All so I can destroy it. As you can see this week, we did not disappoint with keeping up with the city. I have included just three random buildings, don't matter what they are. Uh, They're being destroyed by the Sentinel falling on them. The X-Men have taken them down. I've included um, Angel, Banshee, Storm, Dark Phoenix, uh, Colossus, and Jubilee over here in his hand. Um, there's no real connection between this base plate and the Sentinel. The Sentinel is just kind of laying it on top. Um, I thought it would be funny to show kind of Colossus dragging the head of the Sentinel away, so I did add that. Um, 
this was a really big pain the sentinel does not like to stand up on its own if you've seen our previous video about it it does not hold its own weight the i tried to take little pegs because it has holes for it in the foot and make it stand up and try to prop it up against something but over here on this side of it will be oscorp so i didn't want it to fall back and hit oscorp so i figured i would just lay it on top of this i will be coming in and continuing to build this building up a little bit and showing that he is falling through it but for this building and this building in the front of course it's kind of all done i will need to go back and add some tiles um uh, for the sidewalk but all that is done but other than that everything else is done with the building um one of the other things i might be doing is i realized that i did not have a um cyclops figure i will be trying to find one um i do have the rays that are going to come out of his eyes and it will be put back here somewhere what i think i might do is do um, a bunch of these clear connectors and use it flying up to where he's shooting down into the back of it but I really am happy with this. I, I'm happy that I finally got to use the Sentinel because it was not working before. It just wasn't coming through. Um, I will just be able to pick this up as a base plate. If stuff falls off, it's all going to be right here on his feet and leg. Like I said, this thing is very, very brittle. I do not like it. It is by far my least favorite mock that I've ever built of somebody else's. It just, it did not hold together. I think that a lot of it just has to do with the size of it. Um, I would have liked to see it built maybe in like a more of a Voltron way. Um, I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know if the pieces are there. Um, I do wish Lego would do something like this. I doubt they would. The other Sentinel was just kind of trash. Um, but the way that it turned out, I'm really happy with. I will probably be adding some more effects. I do have a couple more X-Men. I still have Sabretooth. Um, I know Sabretooth is not an X-Men, but he does have you know the tie-in with Wolverine and all that. Um, I do still have a mag uh, two Magnetos. I don't know where I'll be adding the Magneto. I didn't want to put him here. Uh, I was going to put him in another little spot to kind of show another battle, doing something to keep him separate from the X-Men. And I do have Beast. Uh, I'll probably throw Beast somewhere else just because putting him with all of this, I think that you'll just lose him. Um, I thought about maybe showing him running up the back of the leg or something like that, which I still could do. And I might. Uh, I don't want there to be too many other scenes in the city that kind of take away from the X-Men. I did want this to be the big scene. The Daredevil scene will be still going down. I still have the Deadpool scene, uh, all the Spider-Man scenes. So I wanted to just kind of include this separately and show it as its own little entity included kind of in the city but separate at the same time um i still have a couple more of the villains though i still have a juggernaut the juggernaut i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with either i didn't want to put him over here and have him you know messing with the sentinel so i might put beast or all that with him i still have another deadpool fig that i could add with it but for now this scene is going to be complete i will probably go ahead and now that i say that add beast to run up the back of this i really like that idea matter of fact let me go grab the figure now i can just simply take him put him kind of pressing on the leg where he's running up the back of it i think that that kind of uh gives it a little bit more of a teamwork effort you can kind of see what's going on i am really happy with this like i said I, i'm glad that we got another base plate down this will include the center of the city um now it's just going back and finishing all the the different levels of the buildings and the layers um then i will probably be doing the rest of daily bugle next the next order i put in will be for finishing the buildings i already have so the center will be done um after i get done talking in this i will be going over there and showing you more of the city i did lay out some more of the roads i did include what i already have of oscorp and what i already have of the daily bugle so you kind of see the layout of it and i cleaned up the table a little bit got the pieces off of it uh somewhat not all you're gonna see it and be like oh you didn't clear anything off but i promise i did um with all that being said let's go show you the city and then we can end this video okay guys let's take a tour and see where we've gotten um i did redo like i said i kind of added the daily bugle i did redo the church already i will be doing my next video on it i will be continuing to add some stuff over here some greebling some uh as you can see this kind of looks plain it will be looking a little more detailed and then down here there will be some tombstones and stuff like that uh, I have kind of added more street here, more street here. I'm still debating on right here if I'm going to put another road. Um, if I do, it won't equal the same distance apart as that. So I might do it just to give it a little bit more of kind of like a contrast. Um, then, of course, the Empire. Come down here, you can see where the Sentinel is laying. 
uh, I do understand that in this building right here, if it were to fall, there would be some destruction, but that's why I put kind of like where his head is ripped off and then Oscorp, uh, coming around these buildings will be touching and meeting, uh, and all put together, but you do get the idea. This up here is where the warehouse will go, where the Del daredevil origin is. And then coming around here, I'm going to give you all a sneak peek and show you that I have placed some minifigs. Uh, there is some scenes going on the front of this. Uh, lay out all of these buildings other than the one over here in the corner is 100% done. I do have to add some more destruction in this as far as explosive pieces. But you can see Deadpool's not having a good day. So guys, I really hope that you like what you've seen. I really hope that you are still digging this. I'm always getting positive comments back. And don't forget, if you have any negative comments too, please comment down below. Let's hear it. I would really, really like to hear uh, kind of people's thoughts. I know a lot of people are going to have a problem with this because this is kind of the the original uh, Angel was one of the original X-Men and Dark Phoenix is not even a good person. Uh, she turns bad when it becomes dark. But either way, uh, being my favorite character, I was going to add her. I still might do a, a couple more flames coming off the back of her so you could really see it. But also at a convention, like I've said a thousand times, I'm still trying to play the angles to my best ability. That way when you come up to it, you do get the full experience of seeing everything. Don't get really to miss anything. But um, don't forget, use your creativity. Build, build, build. Let me see what you got. Comment down below. Follow us if you haven't yet. Subscribe. Hit us up on Instagram. Talk to us. Don't forget, like the video and peace.